Hi. We'll be going um, quickly to see homogeneous production functions. Uh, any function of many variables is said to be a homogeneous of degree n if we multiply a positive number, uh, say lambda, and this gives us lambda to the power of n multiplied by the function itself. Uh, this is the degree, this is the any positive number we multiply here, and if this if we multiply any positive number with this function, and what we get is that number, the positive number itself, with the degree of n times the original function, then this is said to be homogeneous of degree n. Uh, if you, before we go to the example of production functions, let's go through quickly one uh, exercise. Let's solve this together. This is f of x1 and x2, which is equal to x squared plus 6x1, x2 plus x1 to the power of 5 times x2 to the power of minus 5. If we multiply lambda with this function, then we will have lambda times x1, lambda times x2. And then we insert this into this function. And by solving this and rearranging, we will get lambda to the power of 2 times our original function, which was f of x1, x2. So this is how we define homogeneous functions and now the degree instead of n we have 2 because this is the degree uh, here is 2 lambda to the power of 2 so this is homogeneous function of degree 2 homogeneous homogeneous of degree 2 uh, now let's go back to our production functions. If we uh, multiply our inputs by any positive number, and we get an output which uh, is multiplied by that positive number raised to some uh, constant, then we say our, our production function is a homogeneous function. And we want to uh, call your attention to this degree of homogeneity. Because in the, in the case of production functions, this n is a measure of Return this to scale. So let's say n is equal to one. Let's say n is equal to one. So simply this means f of q is equal to lambda times f of q. Let q denote all this function. It's a composite function. And now, if we multiply this lambda, uh, if the inputs are multiplied by lambda, then the outputs are also multiplied by lambda. And that's basically uh, if n is equal to 1, which means uh, we have constant returns to scale. Simply, what we are saying is that if we double, for example, the inputs, 
we are getting devil outputs. Doubling inputs gives us devil as much output as we had before. For example, let's say we had this isoquant, which represents this num combination of number of doctors and number of nurses. And let's denote it by Q0. Now, if we double our inputs, we are getting another isoquant. Let's denote this by Q1. And what we are saying is that this Q1, if n is equal to 1, then it implies that this Q1 is two times twice as Q0. So doubling inputs gives us twice as output as we had before. That is when n is equal to 1, which means we have constant returns to scale. Uh, another interesting way to look at this is to look at the Cobb-Douglas production function. Let's see. Um, let's say that we have f of two inputs, uh, capital and labor, and this is equal to uh, now, before we, we look at returns to scale and or anything, first let's show that this is in fact a homogeneous function of degree alpha plus beta. How do we show it? It's, it's very easy. We multiply both sides by lambda. Lambda, lambda, and then here it's like lambda times k to the power of alpha, lambda times l to the power of beta, and then we have lambda, we have two lambdas here, and they are common, so alpha plus beta, k to the power of alpha, l to the power of beta. Notice that this is, in fact, the same function as that we have started with. And this number here indicates our, uh, it tells us about degree of our homogeneity, particularly this one, the, the, the degree. Lambda is the one we started with, and the pow its power is alpha plus beta. So now we have shown that Cobb-Douglas production function has is a homogeneous function with degree of alpha plus beta. So this was before our n, which is a general representation of anything. But now we have alpha plus beta, and if we equate this with 1, it's the same thing as we said before, which is now we have constant returns to scale. You double the input, you get twice as much as output you had before. What if it's less than 1? Then, obviously, we have, instead of constant returns to scale, we have decreasing returns to scale. And if it's greater than 1, then we have, luckily, increasing returns to scale. That's if we are lucky, because now you double the input, but you are getting more than twice output you started with. So that's it. Homogeneous production are very useful in particularly studying production and cost functions. Now we are focusing on production functions. What we are saying is if you multiply any positive number, for example, in the case of production, if you, production functions, if you multiply any positive number, if you multiply input with any positive number, and you get that positive number raised to any constant times the output you started with, then you have homogeneous production function. And we have particularly derived uh, the case of Cobb-Douglas production function, that it's homogeneous production function with degree of alpha 
plus beta. And it's equal to one. If it's equal to one, then it's constant to surface scale. Otherwise, it's less than one or greater than one, in which case we have respectively decreasing returns to scale and increasing returns to scale. I hope this was useful. Thank you.